CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a really cool large sunflower, and then it's got tassels coming off of it, so it makes a beautiful wall hanging. Um, so yeah, it's really fun to make, and I think it's pretty easy too. So let's go ahead and get into the materials, but first I'd like to ask you to please hit that red notify me bell below so that you can get notified of all my videos and subscribe. And then please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also please share the video. That helps more than anything and I really appreciate it. We are really, um, we have really made some leaps and bounds with this channel. Um, as I, I've said this in another video, but I'm just so astounded. We are well over 20,000. We're pushing up to 21,000 subscribers. And I just want to thank you so much for all of your support. Okay. All right. So let's get into the materials. So for today, I'm using um, a couple different kinds of yarn to make this sunflower. And it is a abstract sunflower. So it's not... The colors that I'm using are not, you know, necessarily atypical of sunflowers, but I like the colors. You can use any colors you want, but as usual, I like to let you know exactly what yarn I'm using. So this is Mandala Ombre Lion Brand, and it is in the color um, Serene. This is going to be used for the middle of it. This is a burnt orange, and this is also Lion Brand, okay? So both Lion Brand yarns today, and I'm also using a five millimeter hook and you are going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a darning needle or you might call it a crochet needle looks just like this now before we get into the video i want to let you know if you're not familiar i call this a beginner video because it is beginner it's easy um and if you've been crocheting for a while you know that there are some really difficult patterns and stuff out there so this is considered a beginner but if you don't know how to hold your hook or you don't know how to hold yarn or you're not familiar with really any of the stitches that we're using in here, please look at my beginner video below. It will tell you how to do all that stuff. It will go over all kinds of things and it might help out, okay? All right, so let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this beautiful burnt orange color and we're going to make a magic circle Okay, and into this magic circle, we're going to do 12 double crochets, but what I would like to do first is chain up three, and this is gonna count as one of our double crochets. So technically you need to put 11 in the circle now for a total of 12. Okay, so that's 11 double crochets. Also counting my first chain of three, that's 12 in total, okay? So then you're going to take your magic circle um, end piece here and you're going to tighten. That's gonna pull that together. And then right here at the top of this chain of three, you're going to do a slip stitch to join this circle together here. So we're not working in the round. Okay, we're just going around and we're gonna slip stitch for every round, okay? So now you're gonna chain up three and then right in this same spot where you did the slip stitch, you're going to make another double crochet. So that's two technically in the same spot because that chain of three counted as a double crochet. Every time we chain of three in this project, it is going to count as a double crochet. So into the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets And to the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And you're going to keep doing that all the way around. And by the end, you should have a stitch count of 24. Okay, and now when you finish that round, you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first chain of three. Okay, so you're gonna slip stitch there and then we're going to do another round of increase. So we're going to chain three. And you're going to go into your next stitch and you're going to put a double crochet. And then in that same stitch, you're going to put one more double crochet. And in the next stitch, you're going to put one double crochet. 
And in the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And in the next stitch, you're going to put one double crochet. And into the next, you're going to put two double crochets. And you're gonna keep doing that all the way around. And when we get to the end, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so we're coming up on the end here. We did our two double crochets, and now we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain of three. Now you should end on an increase when I said you did your two double crochets in this last stitch. If you counted correctly, that is how you should end each round, okay? So now we're going to chain three again, and then we're gonna go into our next stitch, and we're going to put one double crochet. And then into the next, we're going to put two double crochets. Into the next, you're going to put one double crochet. Into the next, one double crochet. And into the next, two double crochets. And you're gonna keep doing that all the way around. And so you go ahead and do that, and I'll do it, and we'll meet you back up in just a second. Okay, now we finish this round of increase, so we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain of three here, just like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one, and right here in this first place where we just slip stitched, you're gonna to try to work into this back loop here, okay? And into this back loop, you're going to put a half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, working in the back loop, you're going to put a half double crochet. And again, into the back loop, half double crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way around. And you are gonna notice that your work is going to turn up a little bit, that's okay. It will flatten out later once we do the petals. So just remember in the back loop only right here to do a half double crochet. Okay, and that's what that looks like. You're gonna see this coming forward and this going back into the background, and that's exactly what you want. As you can see, it's already starting to curve up. That's okay, it will flatten out, okay? So I'm gonna keep doing my half double crochets. You keep doing yours, and we'll meet back when we get close to the end. Okay, so now we're on our last half double crochet in the back loop, and now we're gonna slip stitch to our first half double crochet. So not that chain one we did, but the first half double crochet. We're gonna slip stitch to there, and now we're gonna cut off because we're gonna bring in our other color and we're going to start making some petals, okay? So we cut that off and I'm just gonna pull through just like this and tighten up, okay? So I'm gonna pull out this other ombre yarn and I'm actually using, I've got two parts that I'm using here, but I'm using the orange, which is in the middle. So I'm gonna pull this out here. And you can bring this color in wherever you want to bring it in, it doesn't matter. And we're just gonna bring the new color in. We're gonna make a uh, chain there, just like that. And then we're going to chain up four, two, three, and four, okay? And in the same stitch, we're gonna work all these stitches. Then we're going to do a treble crochet. Now, I have a video below if you're not familiar with these, but I am gonna show you briefly. You're going to yarn over your hook twice. You're going to go into your stitch. You're going to pull up a loop. You're gonna have four loops on your hook. You're gonna go through two. You're gonna go through two. You're gonna go through two, okay? One more time, wrap the yarn around your hook twice. Go through the stitch, pull up a loop. You've got four loops. Go through two, go through two, go through two. So that's three, then we need one more treble stitch. Okay, so now we have four. Now we're going to chain up three, and we're gonna do a pico stitch. Now a pico stitch is where you're gonna work into these stitches right here. So we chained three. You're gonna hold your thumb right here. You're gonna see this stitch right here in the beginning, this first stitch that we did of that chain of three. You're going to pull your yarn through and do a slip stitch, okay? And that's gonna create a little pico at the top there. Then you're going to yarn over twice, go through your stitch, pull up, and do another treble. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And then you're going to do another one. And another one. 
and then one more. So on each side, you have four trebles, a pico stitch, and four more trebles, okay? So into the same stitch, we've been working all these stitches into, you're going to make a slip stitch to close that off. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch and put a slip stitch. Go into your next stitch and put a slip stitch. And where we just worked this slip stitch, this last one, is we're gonna work, make another petal. So again, chain up four, then make a treble, then do a another treble. And that's three, so we need one more. Then we're going to do a pico stitch, chain three, go into the first chain, put your hook through, pull your yarn through and do a slip stitch just like that. And then you're going to work four more trebles all into the same stitch. One, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna go right back into that same stitch and make a slip stitch. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch, put a slip stitch, and the next stitch, put a slip stitch. And where we just ended with that slip stitch, we're gonna make another petal. So let's just go over this one more time, okay? So we're going to chain four, and we're going to work a treble, and another treble, and another treble. Remember that chain of four counts as one of the trebles. So there's four, then we're going to chain three. Into the first chain of that chain of three, you're going to put it, do a slip stitch. Then you're going to go right back into that stitch and work four more trebles. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to put a slip stitch into that same stitch you've been working into. And then you will go to your next stitch, slip stitch, and go into the next one and slip stitch. And then right there, start another petal, okay? So as you go along, these will they almost look like they're coming in in front of uh, back of each other. So that's what looks really neat because they're so close. It almost makes them look 3D. Okay, so you're just going to keep doing that all the way around. By the time you get to the end over here, you're going to have two slip stitches left. I want you to just do those two slip stitches and then join at the bottom of the first petal. But you should have 24 all the way around. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this, you finish yours, and we'll meet back up, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do for the second round of petals, and I'll show you how to do the tassels as well. Okay, so I finished all my 24 petals, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's really beautiful. Um, and it does almost look like the petals are overlapping each other here. And so what we're going to do is, is we're going to do the same exact thing that we did around here we're going to do on the inside of this where we left these um we worked in the back loop only we're going to work in these front loops here and we're going to make the exact same petals but i'm still going to go over it with you i am using a different color as i said mine is more of an abstract sunflower so um but at any rate that's what we're going to do we're going to work into all of these but we're not going to do quite as many petals okay so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start right here because right here is where we don't really see necessarily. I mean, right there's, you could use that one um, right there, but we're going to go right here. We're going to pull in our yarn 
and we're going to immediately start with a petal. So you're going to, but instead of chaining four, you're going to chain three. We're going to work double crochets instead of trebles, okay? Because these are going to be smaller. So you're gonna go into that same loop right there, that stitch, and you're going to put another double crochet because the chain of three counted as one. And then you're going to do another double crochet and another double crochet. So you're still doing the four, so counting that one and then these three, you have four double crochets. Then you're going to chain three and do a pico. So chain three, go into the first chain, pull up, pull in and do a slip stitch. Then you're gonna go back into that same stitch and work four double crochets. Two, three, and four. Then you're gonna go into the same stitch and you're going to work a slip stitch, okay? Then you're gonna go into your next stitch and work a slip stitch. You're gonna go into your next stitch and work a slip stitch. And then you're gonna go into your next and work a slip stitch. And in this stitch, you're going to start chain three, put three double crochets, one, two, three, then you're going to chain three, go into the first chain to pull in some yarn and do a slip stitch to make a pico, and then four more double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then in that same stitch, you're going to work a slip stitch, okay? Then you're gonna go into your next stitch, put a slip stitch, into the next stitch, put a slip stitch, into the next stitch, put a slip stitch, but into this one, you're going to do another petal. Chain three, put three double crochets. That first one started as a double crochet, so you'll have four technically. Then you're going to chain three for a pico. So you've chained three, go into the first chain, work a slip stitch, go back into the same stitch, work four more double crochets. Okay, then you're gonna go into your next stitch, work a slip stitch, next stitch, work a slip stitch, Next stitch, work a slip stitch, and there you're gonna start a petal all over again. So you can see it's very similar to the top. They're just a little spread out more and they're not as big, okay? So let's go ahead and go around and finish all of these and I'll meet you back up when we get close to the end. Okay, so now we're on our last petal. So I'm gonna work that with you. So again, chain three, put three more double crochets because that first one counted as one. So that'll leave four. Then you're going to chain three, go into the first chain, do a slip stitch to make a pico stitch, then do four double crochets, one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to make a slip stitch to that same stitch and then you're going to have two stitches left, so you're going to work a slip stitch here. And then this is that one that looks kind of funny, so just, it's right up here at the top, it's higher than the other ones, but just try to work in somewhere. If you can't find it, it's not gonna look horrible. And then you're gonna go into the base of this stitch and work a, the base of the flower and work a slip stitch to close, okay? And then you're gonna cut off, leave enough room to work everything in, okay? Okay, so I've just adjusted all my flowers so that they would lay right. And to do that, all you're going to do is you're just going to pull up on them like this. Um, because after you do them, they can, you know, just get in each other's way. So just pull like that. And these should lay pretty well up here at the front because they're further apart. But because these are kind of layered like, they can get a little bit messy. So just pull up on them. And if you need to here, you can do the same thing. Just pull up on these petals just like this, okay? 
And by doing that, you can make it look even more 3D, right? So you're just pulling up just like that, okay? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do the tassels. That's not necessarily necessary for this, but I think it looks really pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work in all my ends and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to do the tassels. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this flower, tassels are usually hung where you can see the top of them, but for this, you're not going to. You're gonna fold your flower up just like this, and we're gonna be working into these stitches right here, okay? So you can start and end wherever you want, but I'm gonna be working in these right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that. Um, and I may even space them out more, we'll see. But I'm just gonna put my tassels here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So I'm gonna use both the, the, the pink and the orange color. And you can find a book or anything that you want to work these around. I'm just gonna use this watercolor pad I have right here. So you'll just take, and this is about the size, I want really long tassels for the sunflower. So I'm just going to wrap it around 10 times. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this off just like this and catch it right here in the middle. And then you can cut off just like that. And then you're going to take the tassel and you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna go right over, I'm gonna go right over here at the end, right into this stitch right here. And I'm going to pull my tassel through. And it can be kind of hard to get it all through, but just try to get it as best you can. When you pull it through, you're gonna have a little hole there in the yarn, pull this through and then pull tight, just like that, okay? And these will be hidden, okay? So it's gonna look like this. And then we're gonna do them all across here, and then I'm gonna show you how to cut them and what it looks like at the end. So I'll see you back in just a minute. Okay, so now I finished all my tassels, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the bottoms, and I'm gonna show you how to cut across with a um, pair of rotary cutters, fabric cutters, but you can obviously use scissors as well. I just want to show you how to do it, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to cut all my ends, okay? I really like to do this before I cut them, um, just to get them all straightened out. You can go ahead and cut if you'd rather, but this is the way I like to do it. Okay, and then I try to lay it pretty flat with my hand. And then I take my ruler, okay? And I just take my ruler and I slide down, trying to make sure these are even. And I want these really long, so I'm gonna go pretty far down. And I see some spaces that I've missed here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go all the way down with my ruler. And I'm gonna hold the ruler down really hard, making sure my fingers are out of the way. And then we've just got a great cut there. And isn't that beautiful? Beautiful sunflower with tassels. And just real quick, I wanna show you how to make a hanger at the top in case you want a hanger for yours to hang on the wall and you don't know how to do it, I'm just gonna take some of this yarn right here. I'm gonna go from the back side because I don't wanna pull on my petals and I'm gonna try to find the middle as best as I can. So I think that's the middle. And so I'm gonna go like one over on this side. I'm gonna bring in my yarn and I'm going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. 
and then right here was the middle and we went, went over. So I'm gonna do that right on the other side as well. And then I'm gonna go right over there and I'm gonna put a slip stitch to close. And then I'm going to cut off just like that. And then you can work in your ends and then you have a beautiful little hanger there to hang that on as well, okay? So isn't that just so neat and pretty, pretty easy to do? It does take a little bit of time, but it just turns out absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, of course, you can leave them below on my YouTube channel, and I try to get to everyone as quickly as possible. But I'm also on TikTok, on Instagram, and on Facebook, and I have a Gmail, and all of that is in the description box below. So please go visit me there as well and see all my work, and I'd love to see your work too. So you can share that with me anytime you want on any of those places, and I'll see you soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.